It's journal time with Miss Gibbs. Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna do our journal and we're gonna write and draw a really awesome animal. I'm gonna give you some hints about what kind of animal this is. All right, the first hint is it lives in a habitat called the rainforest, which is located in South America. Um, another hint is it moves very slow and it lives in some trees and it sleeps 20 hours a day. And I'll give you the last hint. If you don't know it already, it's Miss Gibbs' favorite animal. Do you know what animal it is? You're right, it's a sloth. So we're gonna draw a sloth today, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start off. We already, I already went ahead and wrote my name, the date, and I drew a line towards the bottom. So above our line, we draw our picture. Below our line, we write our words. So a sloth lives in the rainforest. So the rainforest is going to have lots of trees, lots of green um, plants. Um, so down at the bottom, I need to draw some grass because it's going to be very green. And I need a lot of trees because in the rainforest, there are a lot of trees. So I'm going to draw, and they have lots of roots, lots of branches. The sloth needs branches and vines to climb on. And then now I'm going to draw. I need to draw some more trees because there's lots of trees in the rainforest. Lots of branches. All right, so we need to get some leaves and vines on this. All right, so now. A sloth spends most of its life in the trees and only comes down once a week to do some business and it'll climb very slowly back up the tree. So um, a lot of sloths are gray, brown, and then they have actually moss that grows on them. Um, so I'm going to draw a gray sloth. And I believe Moana in our classroom is uh, great. I don't have her with me right now. She's sleeping. Um, but if you remember her in my classroom, um, she's doing great. Okay. So if you were worried about Moana, the sloth. All right. So now whew, I'm going to draw him climbing up the tree. And he's going to be climbing really slow. I need a circle for the head. I need an oval for the body. Whoop, there goes the cat. And then get his arms. And he has these feet. And he has these claws. He has three claws that are really, really sharp. And we don't want to touch those claws if you ever come across one. So I'm going to give him. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to give him some eyes, a nose, and then he kind of has some ears right here. And then I need to draw some green moss on him. Because they, they are so slow that they actually grow moss on them, on themselves. All right. 
So there is my sloth. Isn't that pretty cute? I think it's adorable. All right, so now I'm going to write my words. I'm going to write I see a sloth. What letter does sloth start with? It has a s sound. S, that's right. Sloth. And then a period at the end. Because the period tells the reader to do what? Stop. That's right. All right, so let us read our sentence. I see a sloth. Awesome. All right, let's now clap it out. I see a sloth. Perfect. All right, so now let us pat it on our head. I see a sloth. Great job. Now let's count it on our chinny chin chins. I see a sloth. How many words do we have in our sentence? Let's count them again. One, two, three, four. How many words do I have in my sentence? Four, that's right. Great job, guys. Now in your picture, if you want to add some like flowers, you can because there's lots of flowers in the rainforest. I'm going to draw some pretty. Who's that? Maybe a red flower. Let's draw maybe a purple flower. And let us draw a pretty purplish blue flower. Oh, no. This is just more blue. All right. Very good. All right. I'm glad you got to draw a sloth with me. I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.